It's that time of year again when the flowers are blooming, the sun is shining, and the allergies are in full force. And for Great Dane owners, this means a lot of scratching, itchy eyes, and general misery. But don't worry, we're here to help. In this video, we will not only discuss the types and symptoms of allergies, but we'll also tell you all the available treatment options, along with some prevention tips for surviving spring allergies with your Great Dane. Just like humans, dogs can have seasonal allergies as well. If you notice your Great Dane scratching, losing fur, goopy eyes, and eruptions of hot spots, your pup most likely has seasonal skin allergies. Allergies can begin at any age in a dog's life and tend to worsen as the years go on. Whether you have a Great Dane puppy or an adult dog, you can take steps to help ease your pup's allergies. To start off, you can ask yourself these questions. When did you first notice the symptoms? Have you changed anything in your dog's environment recently? Have you changed anything in your dog's diet? What are some possible allergens in your area? What is the severity of your dog's discomfort? There are seasonal allergies and allergic reactions from food sensitivities. These two are not the same. Seasonal environmental allergies are the most common type of allergies in dogs caused by pollen, grasses, mold, and weeds that your dog is exposed to. Allergic reactions from food sensitivities are caused by ingredients in your dog's food. Food allergies are less common, but they can be just as severe. Allergic dogs do not sneeze or have runny noses like people do. Dogs with allergies have symptoms of excessive itching and scratching. The most commonly affected areas are their feet, ears, belly, or any reachable area. The greatest concern with allergies in dogs is that they can lead to secondary infections. Atopic dermatitis is most commonly seen in breeds such as Golden Retrievers, Labs, Bulldogs, Boxers, Shih Tzus, and Poodles. Not seen too often in large breeds. The most common symptom is excessive licking and chewing of the feet. Atopic dermatitis is not an allergy to food or environmental allergies. It is an autoimmune disease where the dog's immune system attacks the healthy skin cells. Other dogs may have a genetic predisposition to atopic dermatitis. Contact dermatitis is caused by an allergic reaction to something that has come into contact with the skin. Itching, excessive scratching, and chewing of the affected area are the most common symptoms. Skin allergies can be caused by shampoos, soaps, clean cleaners, and cleaning products, as well as environmental allergens like pollen and grass, or anything else that may come into contact with the skin. Allergic dermatitis is different from atopic dermatitis in that it is caused by an allergic reaction to food or environmental allergies. The symptoms are similar to atopic dermatitis with itchy skin and hair loss. The most common symptoms of allergies in Great Danes are itchy skin, hair loss, and excessive licking and chewing. You may also notice your pup has runny eyes. Great Dane seasonal allergies can be miserable for your pup, so it's important to take action if you think your dog may be allergic. If your Dane is experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to take them to the vet to confirm their environmental allergens and rule out any possible health conditions. Typically, allergic reactions result in nothing more than mild discomfort, but a severe reaction could be life-threatening. If your dog's allergic reaction is not mild and is having a severe reaction, you should take your dog to the vet immediately. If you think your dog may have seasonal allergies, don't hesitate to take them to the vet for an evaluation. There are a couple of different ways to test for allergies in dogs. The most common allergy testing is the intradermal skin test, which involves injecting a small amount of allergen extract into the dog's skin and observing the reaction. A blood serum test is also available and is sometimes not as accurate as skin tests. After your dog has been diagnosed with allergies, the next step is elimination, where you remove potential allergens from your dog's environment. We like to try homeopathic treatments first with our dogs because drugs always come with a long list of possible side effects. You may want to consider giving your pup supplements such as fish oil for omega-3 fatty acids. These can support the mucous membranes, including the skin, and also help reduce inflammation. Fatty acids are natural anti-inflammatory and antioxidative agents. These fatty acids are helpful in 20% of allergic dogs. Nettle leaf. Nettle leaf is a natural antihistamine, quercetin. Quercetin is also a natural antihistamine, bromelain. This is an enzyme that can help reduce inflammation and is found in pineapple. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is another natural antihistamine and can also help reduce inflammation. Probiotics. These are beneficial bacteria that help support the immune system. 
All of these remedies can be given in capsule form, while probiotics can also be given in powder or liquid form. In addition to supplements, you can make a soothing oatmeal bath by mixing one cup of plain, unsweetened oatmeal with warm water. Let the oatmeal soak for a few minutes to soften, then put it in a clean sock and tie the end. Run the sock over your dog's itchy areas, taking care to avoid their eyes. You can also make a homemade itch relief spray by mixing one cup of water with half a cup of apple cider vinegar and two tablespoons of aloe vera gel. Pour the mixture into a clean spray bottle and spritz on your dog's itchy spots as needed. Additionally, you can try using a humidifier in your home and regularly change out your AC filters to lower the number of airborne allergens in your home. If your dog has skin allergies, bathe your Great Dane weekly with a hypoallergenic dog shampoo. This will help remove the allergens from your dog's fur and skin soothing their skin and relieving some of the itchiness. Some pet parents also make a homemade mixture of 50 by 50 apple cider vinegar and water to use as a final rinse after shampooing their dog. This will help restore the pH balance of the skin and also has anti-inflammatory properties. Finally, make sure you are keeping up with their flea and tick prevention. Allergies can make your pup more susceptible to parasites, so it's important to stay on top of their preventive care. If you've tried all of the above and your Dane is still struggling with allergies, your next step may be allergy shots. Also called immunotherapy, this treatment involves injecting your dog with increasing amounts of the allergen over time. By injecting her with the substances she is allergic to, the goal is to build up their immunity to the allergen so that they can better tolerate exposure in the future. Your dog's immune system will no longer overreact to the allergen and they will have fewer or no symptoms. The shots are usually given once a week for four to six weeks, and then the injections are given less frequently over time. The whole process can take several months, but many dogs see a significant improvement in their symptoms with this type of treatment. The best way to combat seasonal environmental allergies is to prevent them from happening in the first place. These tips would be useful. Keep your dog inside as much as possible during peak allergy seasons to avoid tree pollens, mold spores, and dust. If you must take your dog outside, do so in the morning or evening when pollen levels are lower. Bathe your dog regularly using a hypoallergenic shampoo to remove pollen from their fur. Give your dog regular doses of antihistamines. Talk to your vet about allergy shots. If your Dane is still having allergy symptoms, your veterinarian may prescribe medications to help relieve their discomfort. Antihistamines can be helpful in reducing the itchiness and inflammation associated with allergies. Corticosteroids are also sometimes used to reduce swelling and inflammation. These medications can be given orally or topically. There are also some new non-steroidal options that work by blocking the inflammatory response at the cellular level. These are called cyclosporin drugs and include Atopica and Cyclomune. These medications can be very effective, but they do have some potential side effects that you should discuss with your vet before starting your dog on them. The most important thing is to work with your veterinarian to find the best treatment plan for your Dane. With some trial and error, you should be able to find something that provides relief for your pup. If your dog scratches his ears constantly, shakes his head, has a funky scent, or cries when you clean his ears, it could be an allergy, or he may have a secondary infection caused by the allergen. Allergies that present themselves in the ears cause intense itching. The most common type of ear infection is caused by bacteria or yeast. Yeast is usually related to your dog's diet. Ear infections can also be caused by allergies. Allergies can cause the ear to produce too much wax, which provides the perfect environment for bacteria and yeast to grow. The best way to clean your dog's ears is to use a product that is specifically designed for cleaning dog ears. Food allergy is the least common but most overlooked cause of allergies. Food allergic dogs develop a sensitivity against a particular item in their diet. Hypoallergenic diets are available that can help with food allergies. These diets contain limited ingredients that are less likely to cause an allergic reaction. You may need to experiment with a few different brands to find one that works for your dog. Hypoallergenic foods usually contain novel protein sources, such as duck, venison, or rabbit. Avoid giving your Great Danes foods with unidentified protein sources or natural flavors. Unnecessary additives are commonly the culprit of allergic reactions. If you are dealing with a food allergy and prefer not to do a hypoallergenic diet, 
The best way to combat it is by finding a food that does not contain the allergen your dog is sensitive to. You can do this by doing a food trial and an elimination diet. When your dog's body is having a reaction to a food intolerance, there are typically gastrointestinal signs along with skin problems. Some of the most common allergens for dogs are beef, chicken, pork, lamb, rabbit, venison, fish, soy, wheat, corn, and dairy. For food allergies, the best course of action would be to start with an elimination diet. This means taking your dog off of all food sources except for one protein source and one carbohydrate. The most common protein used in an elimination diet is venison, and the most common carbohydrate is potato. Foods should be given in their cooked form and not as table scraps. The most reliable way to identify food allergies in dogs is to eliminate allergens from the diet and then slowly add them back in one at a time. Corn, whey, gluten, soy, and chicken are responsible for a high percentage of food allergies in dogs. The first step is to find a commercial food that contains only one single protein source and one starch. The second step is to feed your dog only this food for a period of 12 weeks. No treats, no table scraps, nothing but the food you are testing. If your dog's symptoms improve during this time, then you know that the food is not the problem. The next step is to add one ingredient at a time and see if there are any reactions. Start with the protein source, such as chicken or beef, and add it in for a period of two weeks. If there are no reactions, then move on to the next ingredient. If there are reactions, then you will need to find a food that does not contain the allergen your dog is sensitive to. You will need to feed your dog this diet for at least 12 weeks to see results. Hypothyroidism in Great Danes can cause non-pruritic skin abnormalities and secondary skin infections that can manifest as scabies, dermatitis, and even food intolerances. The immune system is also suppressed in dogs with hypothyroidism, which can lead to a decreased ability to fight off infections. Signs include dry dull coat, hair loss, dry skin, and recurrent skin infections. If you suspect that your dog's symptoms align with the thyroid, you should ask your vet to check your Great Danes thyroid levels to ensure the medication dosage doesn't need an adjustment. Your friend will likely need to be on thyroid medication for the rest of their life, but it is a manageable disease. Thyroid disease can also cause systemic lupus erythematosus, which is an autoimmune disease that attacks the skin, joints, kidneys, and brain. Springtime is a beautiful season, but for Great Danes, it can be a difficult time. Allergies are common in all dogs, but Great Danes are especially prone to them. If you think your dog may be suffering from allergies, the first step is to talk to your veterinarian. They will be able to help you identify the cause of your dog's allergies and create a treatment plan. With the right care, your Great Dane can enjoy the springtime without suffering from allergies. What are some of the things you do to help your Great Dane with allergies? Let us know in the comments. For more Great Dane information and goodies, check out Love Margo website and our social media. If you want to know more information about Great Danes, then check out this playlist of comprehensive Great Dane guides we have put together.